Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bombshell: Comey had secret program to spy on Trump. They found everything. After seeing a comprehensive report on the origins of the Russian investigation which confirmed that a government informant met with Trump campaign advisors multiple times President Donald Trump questioned if the Obama's FBI actually spied on his campaign back in 2016. And the answer appears to be yes. In an interview for Fox & Friends the head of the president's legal team, Rudy Giuliani stated that if this is indeed true and Trump's campaign was indeed spied on by the FBI then former FBI Director James Comey should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Giuliani's statements came on the one-year anniversary of the special counsel Robert Mueller's Democrat led the investigation which picked up right where the FBI left off. The New York Times who was out to give an accounting Thursday of the original investigation confirmed in the middle of their report that at least one government informant met several times with Mr. Carter Page and George Papadopoulos, both of which were former Trump campaign advisors. The NY Times report went on to detail how the probe, which was originally called Crossfire Hurricane got started. It also goes on to confirm that all this began during the final days of the FBI's investigation into Hillary Clinton's private email server fiasco and that Comey's FBI used a secret program to circumvent judicial approval in order to spy on the president. Here is more on the program Comey used to spy on candidate Trump via the Daily Wire. A report released by The New York Times on Wednesday revealed that the FBI, under Director James Comey's leadership, used a secret program that does not require the approval of a judge to gather phone records and other documents on Donald Trump's presidential campaign. The report also revealed that a government informant met several times with Trump campaign officials, which validates a March 8, 2018 report from The Washington Post. The New York Times reports. The FBI obtained phone records and other documents using national security letters, a secret type of subpoena, officials said and at least one government informant met several times with Mr. Page and Mr. Papadopoulos, current and former officials said. That has become a politically contentious point, with Mr. Trump's allies questioning whether the FBI was spying on the Trump campaign or trying to entrap campaign officials. National Security Letters NSL, are secret orders that the FBI uses on a regular basis to obtain sensitive electronic data and phone records. The Intercept reports. They are controversial in part because they carry the force of law but are created entirely outside the judicial system. To issue one, an FBI official just needs to attest that the information sought is relevant to a national security investigation. The letters have also been criticized because they are shrouded in secrecy. Companies that receive them are for the most part forbidden from notifying their customers or the public. The government has fought to keep even basic rules governing them secret. Companies that receive NSLs might not be legally required to hand over the information demanded by the FBI. The Intercept continues. The FBI's internal guidelines suggest that the Bureau uses the letters to demand sensitive information on email transactions, even though the Justice Department has specifically advised the FBI that it does not have the authority to use the letters this way. The documents also indicate that the FBI can use national security letters to surveil a community of interest by obtaining information from a business about a customer and every person that customer has contacted. This is a controversial practice that the Bureau once halted amid scrutiny. But the documents reveal that a secretive unit that mines phone records can still initiate such requests. The most recent document on national security letter policy was made public on January 31, 2017 by The Intercept and reveals which FBI officials have the authority to sign NSLs. The director has delegated the authority to sign NSLs and to certify the non-disclosure requirement to the following FBI officials. Deputy Director Executive Assistant Director Assistant Head for the National Security Branch Assistant Directors and Alt Ads for CT, C, CID, and the Weapons of Mass Destruction Directorate General Counsel Deputy General Counsel for the National Security Law Branch Assistant Directors in Charge in NY, LA, and DC All Special Agents in Charge, SAC The Electronic Communications Privacy Act lists four types of information that the FBI is allowed to obtain using NSLs, as noted by The Intercept. Name of the owner of an account How long that person has owned it The person's address Toll billing records, which reveal phone numbers that are called and include the date, time, and length of each call. The Intercept further noted that lawyers with the Justice Department specifically stated in 2008 that the FBI did not have the legal authority to demand that tech companies hand over records beyond the four types listed, but FBI agents may have expected that other companies, 
especially small ones, would be too ignorant or weak to fight back. This all came together as Fox News had previously reported that back in August 2017 at a Senate testimony from Glenn Simpson who owns Fusion GPS had thought up the dossier. At that time Simpson testified that former British spy and dossier author Christopher Steele had confirmed to him that the FBI had intelligence from an internal Trump campaign source. But it's not clear if the person Simpson referred to was the same person which has been confirmed by the New York Times. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.